costumes, pumpkins and parties, ghosts and their stories. These ideas and concepts all come into mind when one thinks of the word Halloween. Halloween in the station is the second most celebrated and profited holiday. Personally, it is one of my favorite holidays, therefore I decided to read up and research about the history of it. So, I will begin to explain the significance of this holiday, mainly the Celtic impact, the Roman Empire's impact, and the American celebration. To start, I'll discuss the Celtic tradition of sowing. The Celtic people lived over 2,000 years ago in what is present-day France, Ireland, and the United Kingdom. Their new year was November 1st, which was the end of their summer and their, and their successful crop season. <laughs> the, end of this or the end of this season symbolized the start of the cold, harsh winters that were soon to follow. Unfortunately, November 1st this <laughs> symbolized the day of death because the people would kill and eat the weaker animals that would not be able to survive throughout the cold seasons. Furthermore, a lot of their own people would also not be able to survive. According to the article, Halloween History, I quote, the Celts believe that the night before the new year allowed spirits of the dead, good and bad, to mingle among, among the living, possess them, cause trouble, ruin crops, or search for passage to the afterlife, end quote. So it was also thought to be a day of magic. The History of Halloween article goes on to explain the many different events that took place on this holiday. The main belief was that the spirits of the deceased loved ones over the past year would come back to the family homes. The family members of the loved ones would place gifts, food, and wine out to welcome them and let them know they were home. Unfortunately, they did not believe that all the spirits were good and that, in fact, some were evil. Because of this, the Celtic elders would dress up in costumes, you could say, as animals that would attempt to scare away the uh, evil spirits. Around what is believed to be midnight that night, a huge centralized fire would take place. All the townspeople would gather around this bonfire and they would write their name on a stone. They would then proceed to throw the stone into the bonfire. After the bonfire was over, they would search for their name on the rock. If their name could be found, then they believed they would live one more year until at least the next Halloween. However, if their name was not found, they believed that the evil spirits over the years would take their lives away from them. <laughs> History of Halloween goes on to explain one last thing that was believed to happen on this day. Fairies were thought to, to dress up and roam the town this night. They would dress as beggars and go door to door knocking for food or water. If the resident of the home would grant their wish, they were promised good luck and fortune for the rest of the year. However, if they denied the beggar's wish, then they would be cursed and punished. This is believed to be the origin of the concept and saying trick or treat. The next influence I will discuss is the Roman Empire. By 43 AD, the Roman Empire conquered most of the Celtic lands. Over the next several hundred years, Christianity spread over the lands, but Sohan was still celebrated. Pope Boniface IV did not like this. He wanted an end to Sohan and the concept of the Day of the Dead. Therefore, he declared May 13th to be All Saints Day, where all the people would gather and honor the saints that had passed away that past year. This did not stop the tradition of Sohan from being celebrated. So, in 835 A.D., Pope Gregory IV moved All Saints Day to November 1st to distract anyone from celebrating Sowen and to focus more on celebrating the church. <laughs> the night of October 31st became, the no became known as All Hallows' Eve during this time period. It was later developed into Halloween. Halloween started to spread the globe but would not reach America for over a thousand years. Halloween came to America in the mid-1800s when many of the Irish immigrants were trying to escape the potato famine happening back home. Along with them, they brought their traditions of Halloween 
One of the traditions they brought along was the concept of jack-o'-lanterns, which were derived from the old folk tale of a man named Jack, a drunk and a beggar, who was not allowed to enter heaven or hell. Since Jack was cursed, he had to walk the entire earth alone forever. The devil actually felt bad for Jack, and he decided to give Jack a turnip that was hollowed out with an ember inside of it. The turnip had a demonic face carved into it that would uh, ward off the evil spirits that would try to pass through Jack along the way. <laughs> this is believed to be where jack-o'-lanterns came from because of the lantern concept that Jack carried along. The Irish people decided that the turnips were too small to honor the story and to carve the faces into them, so they switched to pumpkins. Overall, there's a long history that created our nowadays Halloween. This includes the Celtics, the Celtic tradition Sewin, the Romans All Saint Day, and the Irish folklores of Jack. According to a CNN article by Holly Yan, we spend over $6.5 billion on candy this year alone and $2.5 billion on costumes. The article goes on to say that when the economy is down, Halloween sales go up because it gives the Americans a way to let loose, be different, go out, and have fun.